Hello everyone, it's Ben Frenzy, and today I am reviewing uh, one of the original Batman Lego sets from 2007. This set is set number 7787, the Bat Tank, the Riddler, and Bane's Hideout. And the term hideout is used loosely, as so you'll see later in this video. It retailed for only $50. Only fifty dollars, and it's six hundred forty-five pieces. So, r pretty good value back then. So, anyways, let's get started. The first figure in the set is the two thousand seven Lego Batman figure, and it is one of the best. It's really good. You can only get this Batman figure in two sets, which is this one and the Scarecrow set from the same year. It, it he has his blue cape and there is no back printing which is completely fine since this is this is an older figure and he you want to see it anyways and that's what his face looks like under his cowl it's kind of similar to what we see today for lego batman figures the next main figure in the set is the riddler he is also not exclusive you could get him in the original arkham asylum set but not with this jetpack. I have no idea why they gave Riddler a jetpack in this set, but it's a nice new look to him compared to the original 2006 one. Other than that, same exact figure. No double-sided face, but there's some eyebrows that are hidden under his hairpiece. And one thing worth noting is that this jetpack will often just lean to the side, and it's kind of a disappointment, but... It's, you can just take it off if you want to do that. The final figure in this set is Bane, and this variant of him is exclusive to only this set, and it's actually a very nice figure of Bane. He has just some plain dark blue pants, but I think it honestly fits. I love the angry expression on his face. It is super accurate to Bane. And what's really cool is that not just his back but his head also has a back printing which isn't an uncommon thing today but back in 2007 this is, was an insanely detailed minifigure so this bane figure bane is not even close to my favorite villain killer croc is my favorite villain and he is just a better version of bane in every way possible but i still love this bane figure and you got this guys if you guys get this it, this is definitely going to be a highlight of this set. This set comes with a lot of accessories, which is amazing. What, the first being the pack of accessories that came in a lot of the original Batman sets. So that pack of accessories includes the guns that you saw with the Riddler and Bane. Three batterings that I'm pretty sure are completely identical to the ones we have today. Very weirdly shaped a pair of handcuffs which is also nice and two of these batterings not 100% sure if a figure can hold them but if you know that they can let me know in the comments the next group of accessories are stuff that only came in this set though the pieces are not exclusive there are two printed $100 bills a thing of dynamite which is a pretty nice build the remote thing to trigger the dynamite and this thing which I it's probably Bane's venom source with a sticker that says danger on it so pretty nice to have all of this in the set as well. Bane actually gets a vehicle in this set and it is simple yet effective. I love this vehicle so much and it honestly is one of my favorite parts of the set. It's just a really solid build. There's Bane here attached to a regular motorcycle in that dark green. It's pretty nice. It's a cannon right here with a sticker element and this thing which might be a clip for it is a gun. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Also on the I'll just rotate it over. There are flick missiles. Now back in the time they did not have the flick missile sticks. Had these pieces which made them very easy to shoot now the big downside is that they are they slip around and if you drive this really quickly they might even come out they'll definitely come loose but again super easy to shoot and it's a really nice look 
I mean, this just looks intimidating, and I absolutely love that. This is very, very cool. So now for the two giant parts of this set, I am using my new tripod for the first time. So if I do, I'm trying to experiment with finding the best way to use the tripod. So if I do st weird stuff with the camera for this video, I apologize for that. Also, I have this tripod came with a light to get the lighting better, which I can also play around with. It can adjust the light and even change its color. So if you guys have any suggestions about the light, be sure to tell me and I'll just have to stop playing around with this now. Okay, now with the light back to normal, let's get on with the review of the hideout section and I used the term hideout very loosely as well as a lot of people who have owned this set on the internet. It is uh, really just a gate. That's really what it is. There is no interior. It doesn't come with a hideout or anything. It does use some big pieces which is pretty nice. Anyways, I'm going to quickly zoom in on the three stickers of this build. So let's do that now. Here there's a wanted sticker for Bane. I don't know why Bane would have that on his hideout other than to just scare people with the look on his face in that picture. This one says bats crossed out, which is pretty funny. So Batman now just, I guess he can't go in now. Just kidding, Batman will do whatever he wants. But this one also says stay out, which I'm sure Batman will also ignore. This part of the, um, what's the word, a light or searchlight, whatever you want to call it, is pretty cool. You can uh, rotate it around and angle it if you want. goes 360 degrees. And as for the thing you get on the right, it's just a gun, which I think can be uh, rot uh, positioned, yep, and it can rotate and if you haven't seen this gun before you can actually spin it around by licking it sorry that it's just going out of control and after that gun went out of control it revealed the huge issue with this section of the build other than it not being an actual hideout and it's that these two part halves are just separate builds they are literally separate builds connected by this chain which is a pretty nice color but it's ridiculous there's not like a base plate connecting them there's no point in trying to open or close this thing because it will just do whatever it wants it will just i would not recommend trying to open it other than just positioning it like that i mean i don't know it's honestly a kind of a disappointment which I was prepared for it not being a hideout, obviously, but that's just kind of sad. And again, no interior unless you count these structural support pieces, so very disappointing. The main part of this set, of course, is the bat tank, and it is a very, very nice build. Probably the best bat tank we have had so far. To start, let's start with the moving function, which is made up of these treads. There are over a hundred of these in the set. I forgot exactly what the count is, but they move quite smoothly. Like very occasionally, they'll get stuck, but it's an easy fix to get them back on the treads, and it's really nice. And although you might complain that this takes up a lot of the part count, this there are a lot of big pieces, mainly on the gate and these piece, bat pieces right here. The cockpit of this vehicle can be taken off to access Batman as a sticker. I really dislike the use of this bat symbol right here. And it has some pieces on at the back. Again, don't like the bat symbol. Kind of makes the design look a bit uglier, and let's try to get a better look at the interior. But as you can see, there's Batman. He 
does not have his cape on in here, I strongly recommend not letting him have his cape while piloting the bat tank since it will easily get creased. There's not a lot of stuff inside the cockpit other than this printed control piece right here. And I know it's hard to see, but there are two levers for Batman to use. This set also has the very interesting feature of this back part just being able to detach completely. And yes, it is intended to do this. You can just take it right off. And as you can see, there's a missile and two flick missiles and me attach that back on just to show you guys those working all right with the back part back on to the bat tank you can adjust these flick missiles if you want to again they use the same piece as the flick missiles on Bane's bike being able to shoot them more easily and it actually works for this vehicle since it's much easier to shoot usually if you shoot with the regular flick missile piece it will just like mess up the angle where it's at but with this backed angle it's not coming out unless you like make this pointing down to the ground so that's really nice and the final feature on this thing is that you can shoot a giant Technic missile and basically it has an auto shooting kind of function which is really cool and you just push down on this back part here if you push it down far enough the trigger will actually be pushed against this yellow part here and it'll just automatically shoot when you push it down so it's actually a really nice thing and you could just push it down and there it goes Flying. And let me quickly grab that from the floor and this is the traditional piece now in 2007 this is actually a new molded piece 2006 it was a bit different but really really nice update that is still relevant today. I'm going to end up and give this set a 9.5 out of 10 or an A because one of the main things you are paying for is the hideout and that definitely did not deliver. It's not even a good gate considering that it's very, very flimsy. I was going to rate this a 9 instead of a 9.5 but the low, low price of $50 plus all of the added stuff including Bane's bike definitely brought this set rating up. Is it worth the 300 plus dollars it is going for and selling for on eBay? Definitely not. I got this a, like a year ago for under $250. I wouldn't pay over $200 to get the set if you're not trying to ultimately get all the original Lego Batman sets like I am. And believe me, that is no easy feat. And I have, don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do that. The Riddler is not that great of a figure, especially with the newer ones, and that he's not exclusive, and he falls over with that jetpack, which you can take off, I guess. But the Batman and Bane figures are really nice, even for today's standards. A Bane bike and a Bat tank are really good. The hideout, not so much. Not even that great of a gate, but this set is still very solid, and I like how it added a lot of value with the already very cheap price if you guys do want an original batman set and a fairly large one i would definitely recommend the original arkham asylum which is very good even for a high price i have not checked to see how much it is right now but i'll do a review on that later but if you want to see that please subscribe once i get in around 100 subscribers is when i will make that review I would also recommend getting the original Batcave if you can find a good price for that. Though I don't have that set, I'm sure it is really good and I hope to get it and review it someday too. Thanks for watching this video. It, I'm sorry for any weird camera shots with the tripod. I will work to improve those later on in the future once I get a good grip with using the tripod. Anyways. Don't forget to wash your hands and have a great day.